Hey there guys, my name is Brodrenalyn, aka The Alone and Snorlax, and today I've got Mono Mondays, which is going to be another one of my weekly series. Don't worry, I'm not going to have like one for every day of the week. Of course, we had Sweep Sunday yesterday, and we're going to have Mono Monday today, along with whatever content I put up. So, we're going to start off with the normal typing, just because, you know, somewhere to start from. I'll be putting three types in the comments, and all you have to do is like the comment that you want to be in the next week so you could like them all if you want but the one with the most votes will obviously be next week's so i'll quickly go over the teams and then we'll go find a battle so of course it's kind of the rules i have to use a snorlax but i was trying to use something a bit different i'm running the uh the curse lax set i was going to use um the z move pulverizing pancake but i decided against it for this time around so i bred a curse snorlax called it root 11. if you know why then shout outs to you Kind of weird EVs, like just really tanky, really tanky, like 244 HP, I think, 176 special defense, and the rest in H uh, defense. So that's the Snorlax out of the way. Let's go on to 5 can, aka the 2 can, 2 cannon, even. It's running the skill link. I'm pretty much using this just because I got clapped by Nips. So <laughs> he made me use 2 cannon. I'm running mine with a Focus Sash, I've got Sword Stance, Rock Blast, Bullet Seed and Beak Blast. I've tested this thing out before, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. My EVs are HP and Attack, but I could have probably run Speed, seeing as I'm running a Focus Sash, but yeah, maybe I could change that in the future. So next we've got Drampa, I called this one Ronin, I also have a more bulky one, you know my dude. It's basically the same moveset, but instead of running a weirder spread, I've got max HP and max special defense in the EVs, so this is a special defense wall, but it still hits really hard, as you can see, with maximum special defense EVs, it's one point higher than special attack, with a uh, beneficial nature, so, this thing gets the berserk boost, that's mainly what you're doing, you want to switch into something, regardless if it's super effective or not, get the berserk boost, get some leftovers, and then hit something with a plus one Draco Meteor or Hyper Voice, and then Roost, you can also roar out anyone who's trying to set up, including Mimikyu. Which I've also done in testing, so I love Drumper, man. This, this thing is just so good. Anyway, we're moving on to slacking. I called my Netflix, because who doesn't watch Netflix in that position? I'm running it with Choice, uh, choice Band, just because you, it has Truant anyway. You get this, um, I think it's Vigoroth. You get Vigoroth through Island Scan. And then, of course, you can breed that into a slacking, so... Slacking is very fast, it's very strong, the only thing that holds it back normally is its ability, so running a standard kind of set, but I'm running facade in case someone burns me, poisons me, things like that. We've also got the Porygon, I don't like Z conversion too much, it's too cheesy, you know, like, I mean you need some cheese in your diet, but I'm not, not a big fan, so I just went with the choice specs, I got try attack I got the bolt beam coverage and then I just went meh and just threw hyper beam on there. I could have run shadow ball but adaptability hyper beam, choice specs, Oko is like everything <laughs> so not much else to say about Porygon it is maximum special attack and HP oh and yeah max attack and speed on the slacking. I keep forgetting to do the EVs so the last Pokemon is Oranguru now normally you just see you know the instruct trick room. But I've been in the lab, like, you could, you, you could say I've been testing. I'm running Assault Vest Oranguru. Now we've got four attacks, and we're also running maximum special attack and HP. This thing surprised me. It surprised a lot of people that I tested it against as well. So that is everything about the team. I'm going to find a battle, so I'll see you in a second. Well, hey, that was quick, wasn't it? Normally waiting like three or four years. Is he mono grass? Yeah, mono grass was more mono normal. <laughs> City Eye, Serena, Parasect, Alolan Executor, Lurantis, and Shinotic? Yeah, Shinotic. So. Ooh, this man is ready. What does he have for a well played 2 cannon? That is what I ask. Not really much that takes on a Drampa or a. Porygon. I don't have Trick Room on anything, so 
Do I have Ice Beam on my Orangu? No, I do not. Let me get Lens this, so what the fuck am I on about? Branch, return. Kinda wanna bring the Snorlax. Snorlax, two cannon, and Paragon Z. Alright, let's do it. Mono versus a mono. Good luck to dude. Let's see what he brings. The Decidii. Looks like it's Signature Mon versus Signature Mon. Let's go, boy! Good luck to dude. I don't think Crunch kills, so I'm just gonna curse. Feather Dance. Oh god. This ain't good. I mean, my attack's gonna be down, but I can just get tanky. But he still might just crit me. I'm gonna curse again just to see if he further dances me twice. Yeah, okay. That's pretty interesting, actually. Like, I would've just gone for the SD and tried to crit. <laughs> so we're both just, uh... Lowering my stats by the looks of it. Right now I have plus two defense, minus two attack and speed. So. <laughs> is he just gonna spam Feather Dance? <laughs> this is gonna be the most dumb battle ever. I'm gonna get to plus six defense and then he's just gonna crit me. I can see it happening. Honestly, there's there's going to be a point where he thinks I should probably stop doing this now. <laughs> okay, maybe not. What is his game plan from putting me to minus 6? Cuz <laughs> We're both just gonna swap into like a, uh, a special attacker anyway after this is done. This is really strange. So minus four attack, plus four defense, and minus four speed. I think he might switch. Okay, never mind. I am wrong. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is actually the dumbest. I'm just gonna crunch anyway, see if I can get a defense drop. Hidden power? What am I going against? Wait, is that crit? <laughs> Yes, boys! This battle is so retarded. Roost! Oh my... I need defense drops. I need defense drops, come on. We got this. Oh, clean. Oh. So what other move does he have? He has Hidden Power, Roost, Feather Dance. Eh, what? What is he trying to achieve? He's gonna Roost again, obviously. Like, This is gonna be one of those battles. <laughs> it's just gonna go on for 10 minutes and nothing's gonna happen. Come on, give me another crit, boy. That is not a crit. Defense drop? Man. How much PP does Roost have? Uh, phone, 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 phone. Oh, we withdrew! Never mind. Oh, if I crit Heavy Slam, it is time. It is time. 
I dare you to try and put me to sleep. I dare you. Moonblast. Let's see how much this does. I did 30. Oh, I thought that was a crit then, but it went so slow. He actually can't touch me with the mons he has. Like, what else might he bring? I want to be slick and switch out, but I know he will just go back into his, uh, his other dude. Oh, he's got Spore. Oh, his team does nothing. <laughs> like, you can't touch me. I've just got to sit through these sleep turns now. <laughs> Moonblast. It's going to take you around nine Moonblasts to kill me after leftovers. So... Oh, I woke up. Oh, come on. Give me that crit. Give me that juicy. That is not a crit. It's going to have, like, strength sap or something. But it doesn't really do that much damage because he lowered my attack. So, I don't know what dude is going for. He's just going to spawn me again, though. Like, why would he not just spawn? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be the dumbest battle spot battle I've ever been in. And I've, I've had a few in my time. But can I get that turn one wake again? Strength sap. Let's see how much this actually does. Wait, why did he get so much from that? He lowered my attack. Or is that not how it works? Does it work off of like the base, the base attack? <laughs> if I crit him, he dies, surely. Because it ignores your stats. He's getting a lot of these uh, drops as well. But my Snorlax is still asleep. Yeah, um, this might be a one battle episode. <laughs> this one has taken a while. Like, he can't do anything. I see what he's going for with his team and his strategy. But it honestly just doesn't have any momentum. That's not a crit. Man, he's just gonna spoil me again. That one time I run, wanted to run Rest Talk, and I'd run Curse instead. <laughs> okay, so we're asleep for the, uh, the third time, I think. I wonder how much damage this does. Oh, a, a nice 36. <laughs> oh my god. How much do I heal from my leftovers? Oh, 16. It's doing 20 damage a turn. <laughs> Wait, did he forfeit? It's stuck. Um, come on, man. You can't leave me in here like this. Oh, oh, he's doing some damage. I've gone under three quarters health for just a second. This guy is determined, though. I can respect that. Yeah, you lowered my attack too much, you doofus. You can't heal anymore. Come on, give me that crit. Oh, <laughs> it's so close, but so far... 
He's just gonna spore me for another three turns. Go on, switch. Ah! Not the spore. This is torture, by the way. <laughs> if you're still even watching, this is torture. Oh, he actually switched. Oh, all right. Serena. Oh, what is this thing? Um, I'm plus six defense. I don't think Trop Kick is really going to do any damage. Oh, high jump kick. It's just spam return now, I guess. Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm? That did about the same as Moonblast. <laughs> oh my god. He has nothing to take out my Snorlax. But he actually doesn't have anything. This is also why I don't run Curse Lax, because it just takes so long. Battles last forever. I could have belly drummed after the... Um, uh, after the Feather Dance, and then just crunched at plus two and killed the Dissidii. And this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> this is why I don't run Curse. Battles just turn into like stall fests. I'm gonna predict his Dissidii just to just to be fresh. Oh. He's actually doing an alright amount of damage. Oh, the defense drop. Let's go. <laughs> that might actually do a little bit of damage now. He's just going to keep going behind jump kick though. And I will just pray for the miss. Because that's all I can really do. I don't really do enough damage. Miss? Oh. Alright, well this is getting a bit dicey then. I'm starting to get low health. That's doing an alright amount though. Seeing as I got the defense drop. I thought it was going to be a crit for a second. But it just slid to a halt. So... I think we do just keep returning though. <laughs> 27 turns. No. Come on man, you have to miss a high jump kick. I need you to miss a high jump kick. I definitely need you to miss a high jump kick. Now. Right now. Red now. I don't think it kills me though. There's like 50 something. He's gonna go for it. He has to. Oh, come on, man. Where am I miss at? Yeah, 54. Now, the <laughs> if he's smart, he doesn't go for high jump kick here. Because it could still just miss. I'm just going to fight on to the end though, just to see what he does. Oh, I went for the drop kick. Yeah, I respect that. He made a smart move. The Snorlax does go down. I mean, <laughs> I wasn't budging, really, let's be honest. But do I go into the two cannon now? That is the question. Does Beak Blast work in the um, in Queen's Majesty? Because it, it, it does like a priority thing. I guess we're about to find out. I love how we hit like six high jump kicks. If that was me, I would have missed five. Like I wouldn't have not hit these. Okay, so Big Blast does work. That's interesting. That's good to know. That's one thing down. I would have preferred if he did actually miss high jump kick though, because I'm kind of in a bad spot now. He just has really 
tanky stuff. Like his his one idea with this is to just do thing, uh, just do feather dance and stall you out. It's interesting though. Like I'm not I'm not trying to take anything away from this guy. It's interesting. It's very boring. <laughs> I will, of course, just keep going for the Beat Blast, though. I am minus two, but there's nothing else I can really do here. He will go down, and then they will just have the Shenotic. And I can hit him with that Choice Specs Hyper Beam with the Porygon. That is my plan. Unless he just decides to sport everything. He's going to Strength Zap, because I'm minus four, thinking that it won't kill, but it still might kill. Yeah, there's the Strength Zap. I gave him a lot back. Right, so now I have to Soul Stance, because he's going to do it again. I think I can live it. Oh my god. It's so obnoxious, man. He just puts you to sleep and then he clicks Moonblast. Ugh. Like, it doesn't damage me. <laughs> oh, man. Even the uh, the two cannon looks annoyed. <laughs> but let me wake up. Piece of shit. Here's the moon blast. Let's see how much this does. Am I even faster? Because I don't think either of us is that fast. I'm 58 speed. Just use Rock Blast just for some damage if I am faster. Oh, he is faster, okay. Alright, it's time. I've had enough. I'm getting out of this battle. <laughs> Going down. If you lift this, I will be very surprised. I'm not even going to overreact to that. I'm just so overwhelmed <laughs> with what just happened. That battle was like 20 minutes long for a 3v3. I feel drained, honestly. <laughs> that is why I don't run Curse Lacks, for all of you who have asked me. Whew. I think I'm just going to leave it at that. If I get any more battles of that caliber, this episode is going to be an hour long. So <laughs> remember to vote for what type you want to see in the next week's episode. Thank you all for watching. And as always, maybe I'll see you again soon.